This is the Love Golf Tour, and this is my vlog review of the gray wall side of the Marquette Golf Club, a top 100 course in the country. Amazing views of Lake Superior and these rock formations that are all over the golf course that are really fun to drive through. Really never seen anything like it except just a few holes at the Country Club of Brookline. There's uh, some cool rock formations. I think they call the Himalayas on one of the holes he hit over, but um, it happens about four or five, six times here from the fairway or from the tee into the fairway. It's pretty cool. Get a good shot of this this hole here with a huge wall on the right. Really get away. It's really quiet, peaceful place. This is one of the first, second whole time you get to experience being in the rocks. These two holes that you just saw in a row here, you really feel like you're getting away from everything. You're kind of in a almost a tunnel or canyon or something. It's really cool. Everything echoes really loud, as you'll hear from this shot. Oh, 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 oh. It hit the wall, it came all the way back. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. A lot of the greens had these extreme undulations on them. They turned out to be helpful for me the first time seeing the course. How do you feel about that? I don't know. I'm trying to miss my head deep. This was, I thought, one of the cooler views on the course. And I got really unlucky here on this approach shot. I think I missed my spot by about five yards short you can watch the ball come all the way down the hill and then i don't know how when i got up to my chip shot it was like five feet from the hole you'll see i make that putt <laughs> got really lucky one of the cooler views on the hole on the course so it's a uh, ninth green i believe this is another cool looking drive wanted to include it in here you don't get these kind of hairpin turns and everything on every golf course, so that was a pretty cool, cool way to show you the environment here. You don't get this everywhere. Down. One of the trademarks of this course is all the long par fours go downhill. Just about every par four is a downhill oh, tee shot. And this one, oh, no exception, it holds like a 490 yard par four, but I think that drive went about 340 with all the help to going down the hill. You got a bell to ring when you're in the safe zone there. I think that was the 16th and here's just to the 18th drive. 18th is like a 550 par five, just straight down the hill. That was just kind of a smooth one. Still got out there like 330 with the huge undulations behind where I'm hitting from here. Really cool hole. Overall, I'd have to say this is one of the coolest courses I've ever been. I, I, I'd say the coolest course I've ever played is probably Wolf Creek in, in Nevada in terms of uniqueness. This is, uh, I wouldn't say a close second, but it's definitely second in terms of some of the coolest, one of the coolest places I've ever played. Um, not overly hard. The, the rating was pretty high, but I, I was able to score pretty well. Um, you know, it's all right in front of you. It's hard to lose a ball. I didn't lose a ball the whole day. <laughs> There's like just some deep grass, not a whole lot else. But definitely, uh, yes! I'd say five out of five stars, and uh, definitely recommend if you're in northern Michigan, make the trip up there and do some nature stuff too. Thanks for checking in. And just before I go, some cool photos from other parts of northern Michigan that we visited while we were up there. This is about 20 miles away from our cat. This was this 
a big waterfall. Cool view of Lake Superior. This is in the upper, upper peninsula. Almost as far north as you can go. Thanks again for joining. Cheers. <laughs>